Hello, it's Tuesday, the 11th of November, 2008, and this is Brian Shannon speaking from alphatrends.net. Uh, we had a little more selling here today. The uh, NASDAQ lost 67 cents, or 2.18%. It was kind of an interesting session that uh, we gapped a little bit lower right on the open. We'll see that with a two-minute chart. They, here was yesterday's close. We gapped lower, and uh, from there, it was trapped below the daily VWAP, and in this really pretty tight range here, 30.10 to about 20. Uh, 29.75 on the downside so about a 35 cent range in here finally was able to push above the daily VWAP uh, right here about uh, well late mid to late day and uh, got above there with some volume saw a lower volume pullback and then more volume in here uh, but then uh, came down tested it uh, failed to rally further and closed basically right at that VWAP so initially it was uh, actually a very boring session and then it turned into a uh, quite a bit of volatility here at the end of the day so uh, the market remains obviously in a primary downtrend it feels as though uh, we you know we should have a knockout punch coming in here soon um, just you know with the inability of this market to, to, to hold on to any rally yesterday we saw the gap higher today we saw uh, an attempt to push back above this prior support at 3050 and I was thinking maybe it had a chance to make it up to that uh, declining five-day moving average for an intraday trade but uh, Obviously, uh, as high as it made, it, it only made it up to uh, rather uh, about 30.50, uh, 30.75 or so, and then we saw the selling come back in. And uh, you know, every time that you get a failed rally attempt attempt it gets more people trapped higher frustration level and it puts this market closer to an eventual I think just complete give up so danger remains very uh, high in here and uh, we had seen obviously that the two-thirds retracement failed to hold that was also again coincident with the uh, prior level of support that we had, or resistance rather right here that we had seen and now we're back below that it just seems inevitable that this market will continue down towards the uh, towards the lows and perhaps we see even uh, lower lows there is really uh, you know just seemingly uh, no one see wants to, to step in and, and buy stocks and hold them there's still a lot of supply out there and uh, it remains a short-term traders environment gold continued lower today uh, the GLD was down 2.2.0 percent uh, it lost a dollar 53 uh, this market also seems as though it's getting set for a uh, larger drop as well so be careful in there yesterday uh, I was mentioning that they were trying to convince us on uh, CNBC that oil was due for a rally and bouncing and it was an impressive rally and that sort of thing but obviously with today's 5.8 percent uh, loss in the USO uh, there is no rally obviously in here as we've seen another new low um, yesterday we saw two two tests of that declining five-day moving average this morning it gapped lower and pretty much closed right at the lows of the day so we continue to see see uh, oil deteriorate and uh you know where it makes a low is anyone's guess. The UNG, I'd say, in this this market was uh, better set up than most, uh, but it continues to have resistance up near this uh, 3150 level. Uh, you know, it continues to be a uh, you know no reason to be involved on the long side. Perhaps if it gets above that 3150 level, we'll see some follow through buying. But right now, uh, again, no reason to be uh, uh, getting involved on the long side in the UNG. There was just you know nothing. Thing bullish about this chart with a declining 50-day moving average uh, it remains guilty till proven innocent like all of these markets the Russell 2000 lost 2% as well uh, it broke below the uh, recent support in here and uh, with it again also went uh, any chance for this uh, uh, inverted head and shoulders pattern to really materialize so you can look at that as fa uh, failed to to materialize right now and no no need to uh, really look for that inverted head and shoulders pattern anymore in all these markets we remain below a declining five-day moving average when we get these intraday rallies like we've seen in the in the Nasdaq like we've seen here in the Russell 2000 they're good for you know short-term scalps but with 
with that five-day moving average declining, we, we remains guilty till proven innocent. For the Russell 2000, if it can clear 50 and hold above that, maybe that five-day moving average can flatten out and we can see uh, a short squeeze rally in here. That's your best case for a potential bullish scenario. In the NASDAQ, I would say probably if it can get above and hold above 31, then maybe we get a little bit of a rally. But right now, with the daily uh, time frame so badly damaged and continued deterioration in, in a lot of the market leaders, uh, it, it's really difficult to see what's going to turn this market back around uh, to the upside. The uh, financials lost another 48 cents today. The XLF, that is, or 3.48%, getting right down towards these lows here. These are the lows that everyone thought were the lows. And again, we'll only know well after the fact what the eventual low is. This market remains uh, in a in a downtrend, guilty till proven innocent. You look at this 30-minute time frame, uh, it just looks as though this level may give up soon, and, and maybe we can get a washout from there. We'll see. Uh, but it's it's obviously remains in a downtrend. No reason to be a buyer of the financials. S&P 500, same thing here. Uh, this market lost 3% today, down $2.77. Broke below the recent support that it's seen in here, here on a 10-minute uh, time frame. You can see that it's very similar to that level in the NASDAQ. Uh, it broke below. Uh, I'm sorry, broke back up in the afternoon and trapped some more buyers in there. Realistically, what we have here is we have this pattern of lower highs and lower lows, and uh, it, it, it makes no sense to try and guess where the bottom is. Uh, I think that we're still headed for a retest of uh, the 84 level and perhaps lower. Uh, you have to continue to be extremely cautious in this environment.